everyone what is good welcome back to the channel this is silver hyena and the time has come it is time to paint over this jeez I am I am getting the willies just looking at this right now okay bottom line if you did not see my original Amazon opening where I had unboxed this um Oh, these are the colored pencils! Yay! Ooh, I hit my TV there. Um, I'll have to check on that later. And oh my god. Why? Why did they have to put a snail on the tin? Yeah, I really, really, really do not like snails at all. However, as some of you lovely viewers posted in the comments of that video, I could always just paint over it. That's an option. So you know what? That is what I am gonna do. So, unlike with the Arteza paint palette or the phone case where I was a little bit apprehensive at first about scratching it up and marring it and adding the gesso well this time no regrets <laughs> wow that felt good all right now we add the gesso what am I going to actually be painting on this? I haven't thought that far in advance, but um, you'll know as soon as I do. I'm going to add a little bit more gesso just to make sure that we get a nice coat. A nice even coat, I should say. Oh boy. Ugh. Oh, I made a bit of a mess. I mean, I could set up all this newspaper and everything, but stuff still goes flying. Okay, well, now that this step is done, now I've got to clean up my work area. Got to clean up my paintbrush, and this needs to dry overnight, so what will be only a few seconds for you is going to be way too freaking long for me, so. Alrighty, it is the next day. The gesso has dried, although I just got him. Oh good, it still opens. I just wanted to make sure that after all that, it still would even open. Not that these colored pencils were particularly amazing. Um, for more information on that, um, watch the review. Um, should be coming up right now. Or finish this video first, whichever way it works for you. Anyways, this will be the last we see of this slimy slimy creaky thing um i have an idea of some of the colors i want a lot of it involving purples blues i need to get my white as well and the return of the iridescent medium so it's like i know what i want the background to be i just haven't really thought of much else beyond that but like you know what we're just gonna do the background portion and then i'll come up with the rest as i go <laughs> We're winging it here. Ooh, maybe some metallic silver would be really nice with the purple and blue. There we are. Let's just throw it all into the pot. Why not? Alrighty, so I'm going to mix up my colors and then we're going to get to the fun part. Ah, uh, it feels so good to finally be rid of that slimy fiend for good. Now, the colors I chose were very reminiscent of a winter scene. All those lovely purples, blues, and even a bit of silver. So, get this. I love 
the colors of wintry scenes. I love looking at wintry scenes. I love drawing and or painting wintry scenes. But I actually despise being outside in the winter. Or in the cold. Seriously, I hate cold weather. I hate the snow, although I like looking at it. I have a love-hate relationship with the winter season, especially here in Washington State. There was a time that I was absolutely bonkers about the snow. I'd go crazy and get all hyped about seeing just a single snowflake. Then I had to start working. Then I had to drive in the snow and ice. I detest driving in the snow. I hate thawing out my car in the winter months. And it was around this time that I started to hate dealing with the snow. There you are. A little bit of history about me. Once upon a time, I loved winter. Now I just count the days until we have spring again. But then again, I still do love the colors of a winter sky. Like I said, serious love-hate relationship with winter. So overall, I loved the way the background turned out. Then came the decision, what to draw? Now, it's off camera, but I did draw a sketch that I was looking at while drawing with the Faber-Castell and gel pen, although I might have gone a little crazy with the crystals. Just kidding. You can never go too crazy with the crystals. So what I really wanted was something majestic, as well as being soft and fluffy. I actually love the idea of dragons having fur instead of scales. Or at least dragons that live in cold climates, anyway. Eh, makes sense. Post below, what are your opinions on dragons with fur? I always love to hear what you guys have to say. There was a lot of hurry up and wait while working on this. Especially with those darn crystals. Now, I'm running out of things to talk about, so here's some nice background music for your enjoyment.
so here we are. Finally finished this. Sometimes, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sometimes you ever get that feeling where you start something and you're just wondering, will I ever finish this? Well, I was starting to feel that way, but got through it. However, if I had to choose one thing I regret, it was probably adding these little white dots everywhere. I probably should have just left those out. Hindsight, you know. At any rate, this is way better than that ugly, hideous snail. At least I won't have to look at that anymore. So, that's a win. And with that being said, I certainly hope that you all have enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed the transformation. Post below, did you prefer that awful, hideous snail? Or do you prefer the dragon and crystals? I want to hear what you guys have to say. Seriously, I am curious. Well, it's been fun. And this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe! Thank you.